situations, I know the sincerity with which you deal with these situations. And it was very clear, if I may say, all of the panelists spoke very fully, not just as an academic exercise, you were very fully describing what you feel is necessary. And I think you all need to be applauded on that. You were the six who were sitting here. Many others wanted to participate and have submitted their contributions as well. And I know that these would have been submitted not just, I want to take part in the panel discussion, but I really want to contribute and see how I can bring positive change to the country. Um, and if I may say, just in my general experience of uh, interacting with you in classes and outside classes, I'm very impressed by the fact that everyone here has a motivation not just to succeed in getting a piece of paper, a qualification, but they want to see what they can do to improve the development of the nation in a, in a holistic and all-embracing way. Uh, in the last week, I've had a very good experience of that in the business communications module, where uh, all of the first years have been given a project in, as part of the cricket scheme to look at areas where they can see how a particular area of social development can take place. Looking at an underprivileged area, looking at the development of education, looking at the way in which there can be more empowerment of young people in rural areas, for example. And what has impressed me in, in hearing the, the, the reports from those groups is that not only is there an interest in doing this, but there's a sincere interest in actually going out and applying it. So today, uh, we've, we've had a great deal of food for thought, and thank you, Mr. Chairman, for guiding that process. Um, uh, Professor Lippi and myself will have a very difficult job in a moment of uh, deciding uh, who has been victorious in this. Uh, for me, it was rather like uh, watching the end of a 2020 cricket game and you decide at the last ball or the last wicket. Uh, very, very close. All of you were, were brilliant. Um, thank you for, for doing this. Um, I think, speaking for myself, it's engaged me a lot. The question, what would you do today? What would you actually go out and do today? What would you do tomorrow? A, a brilliant way for everyone to think about it, and I think uh, everyone here has been stimulated in that way. Congratulations to everyone, uh, thank you to everyone, and thank you for all others who participated and wanted to take part, and I think this has been a, a very significant event uh, on, this, on this great day for India, Independence Day this year, um, whether it's 66 or 6,666 or multiples of that. Uh, what I'm perceiving, uh, having been visiting India now and have a great feeling for India for, for many decades, is that the, the traditions, you gave this beautiful slug from Rig Veda at the beginning, that the emergence of these deep, profound qualities that are the embodiment of the culture of the country are now beginning to shine forth. And it's using that as an opportunity for growth throughout all sectors of society. That is what is going to make Ajay Bhatt. Thank you. <laughs>